Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to safely and quickly undervolt your CPU. Our subject CPU for today is the 11th Gen i7 11700K from Intel. The motherboard that we're going to use is the Asus ROG Strix Z590F gaming Wi-Fi. On screen right now is the BIOS. Here, I'm just going to show you first the default setting that we have. So this is the Intel you can see here. All right. We're not changing any um, core voltage yet as of the moment. And this is actually the tab where you can actually uh, tweak the voltage of your CPU. But right now, I'm just going to uh, keep it as auto. Right. So we're not changing anything. And then we're going to reboot and benchmark it. So we can have a quick comparison between the default settings of the voltage and the undervolted uh, CPU. Now to test the temperature and stability of the uh, default uh, setting, we're going to use Cinebench R23 to, to do the actual benchmark and uh, we have the hardware monitor here on the right which we're going to use to, to check for temperatures. And we can actually com compare the result as well on how our CPU performs during those uh, changes in voltages. Now we'll go ahead and test it. We're going to use the 30 minute uh, test stability. And then we hit the uh, CPU multi core. And then we'll observe. As you go here, now it's starting to run. CPU package starting to rise up. We're going to let this run for 30 minutes. We'll just keep it running and uh, be back before 30 minutes. So it's now more than 28 minutes have passed already since we left this uh, Cinebench R23 running and temperature is uh, reaching at 82 degrees now centigrade and it's still uh, stable as you can see it's still running so we're gonna wait for this to stop and uh, we'll see how the performance score is actually out. So we're almost done here. Less than 20 seconds now. Temperature is still at 82. Keeping it there. So the countdown will just let it pass until this entire uh, frame or all the frames here are actually filled up. Then we'll see the uh, the running score after that. So there, so we finished at uh, 
82 degrees centigrade maximum and uh, 12,479 uh, points here. We're going to take this down or note this down and we're going to go back to the bias and set our undervolt. So we're back to the bias. Now we'll go to the AI tweaker. We're going to do the undervolt setting. And we look for the CPU core voltage. There you go. And then we put it to offset here. So we offset it to minus because we are under volting. We can now set this up uh, from 0 0.05 to, to 0 0.1 volt actually. How about we do that in between, right? 0 0.075, there you go. And then that's it, that's all you have to do. And we hit save. Right, so as you can see here, offset from 0 0.05. Sorry, this is just a, uh, a value that uh, I've done uh, before. But basically, you can you might see like a 0, 0.0 volt and, uh, if it's the first time that you're going to do it. But the setting now that we're going to do is 0 0.75. But earlier, it's actually on default. As you saw, that was an auto before the offset move. So we'll continue. Hit OK. Then reboot. All right, so now we're back on uh, Windows. We're going to benchmark now using Cinebench R23 and monitoring it using the hardware monitor here on the Right, the uh, undervolted uh, CPU from auto now to negative 0 0.075 volt. So you can see here uh, the idle package now is at 51 degrees centigrade. By the way, the cooler that I'm using here the, is the Noctua NHU12A. Uh, All right, now we proceed. We go to 30 minutes to do the stability test as well and click start on the multi core. Right. So, testing is started. We'll see. I hope it will not hang. If it doesn't, then we are in a good. Uh, under volting uh, setting. So the temperature from 54 earlier average, which now giving us 71. Right, we'll keep it running in the background and uh, we'll be back before the 30 minute clock ends. All right, so it's now less than um, two minutes now since we started the 30 minute uh, stability test using the Cinebench R23. It's now maxed only at 76 degrees centigrade. So here you can really see that it's, it's a very obvious, uh, very obvious drop, you know, in temperature when we just undervolted it to 0 0.075 volt. So yeah, it's still keeping at 76 uh, degrees centigrade right now. We're nearing the end of the time of the 30 minute. I think there's going to do another round. Yeah, there you go. Still keeping at 76. By the way, this is also applicable if you are doing overclocking. 
you know, if you have the successful undervolting, it is actually beneficial for your CPU. And uh, it also consumes less power. So it promotes, in general, it promotes the longevity of your uh, CPU uh, and less heat in your system. Since low uh, voltage, lower voltage, it also comprises, uh, it also makes uh, or creates lesser power consumption. So there. So we just finished the uh, test of an undervolted CPU uh, to an offset of negative 0 0.075 volt. So, yep. We got the uh, maximum temperature here of uh, 76 volt for 30 minutes compared to the one earlier on the default setting. We got a high 82 degrees centigrade, which is still, you know, within the the T junction of the uh, Intel CPU processor. But still, if you're going to to push it forward, let's say overclock it, since our uh, processor is an is a K version, so it can be overclocked. This means that undervolting it and doing overclocking will still be beneficial. And uh, when it comes to score, meaning the actual performance, actually since it's colder, it's now like 12,915 points now. Compared to earlier, we had at 12,479 points only. So... Guys, this is actually a conclusion that it's uh, better for you to, or for us to undervolt our CPU. As you can still almost get the same uh, performance, but lesser heat in the system, meaning lesser exposure to prolonged heat to our uh, CPU, so it extends its life. So there you go. without changing any cooling solutions, physical cooling solution or changing thermal paste or changing the uh, uh, the CPU cooler, which is an air cooler I have here, not an AIO, not a water block. So without changing in all of those, it's just a quick setting that I've showed you, uh, showed you earlier. We can uh, achieve this um, lower temps and still have an average or, or or even minimal or even an increased uh, performance in terms of uh, CPU speed. So, yep. Thank you for watching, everyone. Have a good day.